Claire from The Crafty Ways and today I'm going to do a little flip through of my word of the year or one little word mini album that I created using Coco Daisy's um, December kit and uh, January planner kit, some bits and pieces from each kit. Um, so I started and I put this like vellum on there um, just as kind of a cover and this is actually not a Coco Daisy sticker. I had gotten it from Hobby Lobby and I just think she's so cute. <laughs> um, so my word of the year is glorious. So I created a cover page um, that's focusing solely on the word and the definition which I just googled and just jotted it down and added some stickers. I absolutely love the Coco Daisy um, rub-on stickers. Sometimes rub-on stickers are a bit iffy, but these went on super smooth, no problem. These birds are also a rub-on. Um, and then I just put some washi tape and then some puffy arrow stickers and then 2019. So this mini album I created um, is something I'm gonna be referring to throughout the year. So I think it's gonna, it's probably gonna get chunkier. I'm gonna definitely add more and it's gonna get a bit personal. So I wanted to do it before I put in all of that stuff. So next page I wanted to do is a why. Um, I did a blog post with Coco Daisy. Um, I'm gonna link it down below so you can check it out. And I pretty much break it down how I'm gonna do my word of the year and just some journaling ideas for you to look at as well. Um, and then I have this little vellum bag that I cut and punched and I just have some journaling cards in it. So I put just some words that are similar to glorious and then other cards that I will eventually fill up. And then I might just put like ephemera die cuts that I find throughout the year that pertains to my word. And then here's some good old scrapbooking paper I cut up and this I cut by hand and it came out pretty good if I must say so myself <laughs> um, and really I just embellished this how I wanted to it's kind of like an art journal mishmash smash book um, it's whatever you want it to be what I love about this mini album is that there's no rules um, I have some journaling there that I don't really want to share um, so I like how I can go out of order and it's really whatever I want it to be so I cut this added a little leaf uh, and I love having like different shapes, paper, different shapes of paper, different sizes. Um, and then here I put in a, one of those clear pockets and again, a journaling card. Um, and I can add anything I want in there. And then here I did some of the circle die cuts. Um, I just wanted to break down the shapes and see what I can do throughout the year with it. Um, here's another pocket card. I mean, not pocket card. Um, one of the... Wow, uh, vellum envelopes. And this one is open, so I don't think anything's really gonna go into it. Um, it's more of a decorative element. And I did some stamping on it, added the acrylic um, words, start fresh, and I added the washi to make it pop more. And then again, different size papers, just adding those different elements um, and some paper clips. Um, I'll add more throughout the year, like I mentioned before. Here's some repetitive stamping for a background and another circle. Um, and then just some more journaling cards to fill up and reflect on my word glorious. Um, again, I did that wavy cut again um, by hand, just a little fussy cut. Um, and then adding some tags as well is a fun element. And another little bag. This one's actually folded in half and then punched. Um, and this is glued in sort of to make it pop that it is a bag. Um, and then some stamping I did. And I did this with the Coco Daisy silver stamp that, um, silver ink that came, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I paired it with a black to make it pop more. Um, and then I put a tag in between just to break it up. And I had some scraps of paper that I just mishmashed together and glued. Again, there's no rules in this mini album. It's whatever I want it to be. Um, I may even add some paints in it. So I think it's a lot of fun. And then I did the same thing here. And I did something different here. I had some of this leftover vellum that's on the front and I loved the pattern so much and didn't want to toss it. So I created this flip type of thing. I don't know what I'm gonna put on here but I love adding dimensions and things that you can play with within a mini album. Um, 
So yeah. And then again, so lots of pockets, lots of interactive um, things that I have in my album, which is what I really enjoy. And then again, here's the die cut from Coco Daisy, and I just did some watercolor onto it to add some color. So that is what I have so far for like the bare bones of my mini album. Again, check out Coco Daisy's blog post um, that I did so that you can see what else I'm gonna plan on adding in here. And perhaps whenever I finish, I'll definitely share it. Yeah, this is just how I'm tackling my word of the year. Of course, you can do it however.